my name is Becky. I'm a wildlife interpreter here at Turpentine Creek Wildlife Refuge. We're here today with Mr. Cecil. He's our resident blue and gold macaw. As you can see, he's a beautiful and gorgeous creature. But sadly, people try to keep these guys as pets as well. Now, Cecil is the only animal here that we actually have contact with. Um, he is not a large predator. He is our blue and gold, so we do actually have contact with him. But he still has to be in his caged area outside. He, we do not clip his wings because we don't want to do that to him. He has the ability to fly. So basically, blue and gold macaws are native to Central to South America. They're found in the tropical and subtropical rainforests. They're a very vital role in the rainforest, actually, because they consume seeds and they disperse those seeds out. And it gives that variety of plants throughout the rainforest. These guys, however, are traded, highly traded, for the exotic pet trade. The World Parrot Trust has estimated about 60,000 blue and gold macaws have been taken out of the wild, and that was as of 2015. And typically what happens is people will take them out of the wild, but they will go to the nest and they will find the babies. And they'll take the babies out of the nest. So if Mr. Cecil was a parrot, a parent parrot out there, he would try to protect his babies, just like as us as humans would protect our babies. So when these people are taking the babies out of the nest, the parent birds are going to protect that baby and sadly get killed because their babies are being taken. And if you notice that beak of his, they could do a lot of damage. These guys' numbers are slowly starting to decline because they are highly traded as the exotic pet trade and are taken out of the wild, but also their homes are being destroyed. Habitat destruction is a big problem for these guys as well. It's actually estimated that over the next 30 to 38 years, they could lose about 35% of their native home range and their rainforest habitat if things don't stop happening. So they're beautiful and they're gorgeous and we love our Cecil, but Cecil should be running out in the wild. Um, and flying. These guys are pretty cool when they are flying in the wild. They will actually fly in large flocks together with their wings almost touching to protect themselves from predators, such as a harpy eagle. So they work together in groups. They're a very social animal as well. He is our only uh, bird that we have here. So we love our Cecil bird and he thinks he is king because he is the only bird species here at the refuge. He does not live up at the gift shop or anywhere out that where you can see him. He is back here at the offices. It's less stressful for him to be back here, but we do have information about him on our website. So you can just click on our education tab, find out about Blue and Gold, and you can look at Cecil's pictures on there as well. So I thank you all um, for coming out and listening, and Cecil thanks you for learning about him as well. How about?